All right, guys, this uh, laptop that I'm working on right now has a virus. I'm actually remoting into it from across the country. To get started, we're going to actually go to control panel and see if there's a program that we can uninstall, like the actual virus uninstall file. It's probably not going to get rid of it 100%, but it's a good place to start. So just head on over to uh, programs and features and then just start uninstalling stuff that you don't need or that... Um, is installed on a specific date you can sort by date on the right there if, i don't know if you can see it but in this particular example we're using uh we're uninstalling search and protect which is like a rogue antivirus like thing where it tries to get your credit card numbers and stuff and tell you you're infected here infected there when you're really not you only have the um search and protect to worry about so just make sure you look down your list and figure out if there's anything else that needs to be uninstalled. Now I'm going to look at the um, task manager and we're going to um, the run first, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna type T-A-S-K-M-G-R. So task M-G-R, all one word. And that's gonna bring up task manager. I guess you can hit control, delete on your computer. I'm just uh, remoted in here. So under processes we're actually going to go all the way down the line this is everything that's currently running on your system right now they should be fairly familiar they should have um, company names and stuff like that on them so if there isn't any company names or anything on it end the task um, once you get that done you want to hit a c cleaner and uh, download it. it is free i'll provide a link and we're going to go to this startup here and uh, this is all the stuff that's starting up. Some of it is disabled, but you want to delete everything that you don't want. Now, um, you cannot trash your system by deleting stuff, but you can um, limit what does load. So if you got vendor drivers and everything like that, you make sure you don't delete that off your list. Um, just go down there. If you see anything that looks like your virus, delete it. Also, Internet Explorer, we want to hit up browser extensions. We want to delete as many as possible. You can delete them all without any real consequence. You'll just have to re-download the ones you like. So uh, make sure you hit those up and delete everything you can because we don't want it coming back through a browser extension, which would suck. Firefox, same thing. Um, you make sh you want to make sure you're disabling or deleting everything. Chrome is a bit differently. You got to do a backdoor hack to Chrome. You can delete it here, but you're not going to get them all. So I'll show you the backdoor thing on your scheduled tasks. That's a big one. You want to make sure that you're uh, disabling everything that is scheduled to install or something like that. So you could do all of the cleaning in the world, but if it's scheduled to reinstall, you're pretty much screwed, right? So anything that's like weird numbers, letters, and isn't really a vendor specific name or anything like that is usually a virus and you don't need it. Computers aren't really installed with that kind of weird stuff on it. So um, going up to the actual cleaning part of this, you can check all the boxes you're comfortable with on the left-hand side and uh, just hit clean on the right hand side and it will clean out your entire system of uh, cash, random, recycle bin, all that kind of stuff, which is a good thing. We're not trying to clear as much data as possible. We're trying to get the, the little files that tell the virus to reinstall itself if it's been removed. So in this particular one, we did 277 megabytes and you wanna hit up the registry cleaner. That's a big one as well. Get rid of all of the keys in the registry that have anything to do with the virus. Before you actually delete the registry keys, you want to back up your registry. So uh, make sure you back it up first. Doesn't matter where you put it, just make sure you back it up. Just in case you pooch the system, you'll have something to go back and reload. You just double click on a registry file and it reloads. Now I'm gonna take you to the um, system restore, I believe is where we're heading, yes. And uh, you want to disable your system restore. This one is already off because you don't want cache files or uh, the things sitting and waiting to be seeded within your uh, system restore. And then uh, one day it pops up again because your system referenced your system restore file, which had the virus in it, if that makes sense. This is pretty much common uh, sense for any virus. And you di disk clean up on your hard drive there if you saw the right click properties. And that'll get rid of temp files. Once again, we're not really getting trying to get as much files deleted as possible we're trying to delete the mini files that are associated with viruses that seed everywhere and you got to cover everything so i'm opening chrome to verify and it says search certified toolbar.com so we are not we still have problems with the chrome we haven't figured fixed it yet you can try and go to the settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says show advanced settings it's accidentally highlighted there 
If you click on show advanced settings, scroll all the way down, all the way down, and at the bottom, you will see a uh, reset browser settings. And what that's going to do is should bring you back to factory um, factory settings. Sometimes it doesn't delete all the virus stuff associated with the Chrome browser because Chrome's got some weird backdoors that it's allowed software developers to use, which is a really big bummer. So I reset it and then I actually go in and do the backdoor hack just to make sure that we complete it. So here's it resetting and then it, to do the backdoor hack, you actually just go into um, the, your C drive, users, find your user, and then, oh, I just had a pop up here from that uh, disk cleanup utility that we started earlier. You just go through and check all the boxes and hit OK, and it'll clean up all the temp files as well. And I'm getting back to the Chrome backdoor thing. I don't actually see the folder that I'm looking for. It's hidden. So I'm going to hit up control panel once again. And what that's going to do is allow me to unhide system files. Microsoft does this so you don't accidentally delete a bunch of system files. So you just hit up control panel, uh, view all icons. And then uh, you want to go down the list here and make sure you show and uncheck the hide for uh, system files. Okay, so now that we've done that, you see app data pops up now. Then you go to local, and then we wanna head down to, I believe it's Google Chrome is the folder. There it is, Google. And then Chrome, user data, and then you will see here, I deleted it. So this is just um, saying, hey, it uh, looks like you're starting up Chrome for the first time. What do you want to do? Yada, yada. So that's a good sign that lets us know that the job is completed. And hey, look, now not every virus is going to be in the places I just showed. However, viruses nowadays are very clever. They like to seed in a lot of places. So you really have to cover all your bases. Or when you restart this thing, it's just going to be completely covered in viruses again. So make sure you do a restart after that. If you guys have anything to add, put it in the comments down below. This is by no means an exhaustive list. This did get rid of Search and Protect. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao.